talking about regular lies that has context. We're talking about compulsive liars. This person is a liar of liars. Don't believe anything that comes out of this person's mouth. For those of you who this is for, this is somebody in your life. This could be a relative. For many of you, this is going to be family. This could be a friend, somebody that you knew like family, or this could have been somebody that you dealt with romantically or had a romantic interest in you. Don't believe not one word to come out this person's mouth. Some of you, it's to the level that you don't even know this person's real name. I'm going to be honest. If this is somebody that you've known, like I said, maybe this is a relative, yeah, you know their name. Of course, they can't hide that from you. You knew this person from school years. Yeah, you know their real name. Of course, they can't hide that from you. But everything else that comes out this person's mouth is a lie. It's a manipulation. It's a setup. It's not genuine. Everything that this person says has an ulterior motive. Some of you are dealing with a person who could be narcissistic or on that spectrum or have some other type of personality or mental disorder that they literally lie. They got a horrible case of lie diabetes okay y'all are dealing with somebody like that and the thing about it is for some of you this is going to be a new person that came into your life or whatever and, and there's certain red flags and pink flags there don't be gullible don't be desperate you don't ever want to get anything in life from a place of being desperate look at these celebrities who sign these 360 deals who are slaves who don't have nothing except what they let them borrow to try to impress y'all and look i got this gucci i got this necklace i got this jewelry i got this person i got this house. and it's all fake it's all lies it's all for entertainment and production purposes the same way people sign them type of deals because they're desperate for money they're desperate to get out of poverty they're desperate for fame whatever else be careful about these same things that you do in your personal life don't embark on any opportunity when you're vulnerable if you know you're in a place where you're feeling desperate and you really want somebody that's not the time that's time to remind yourself well you know i need to form a stronger bond with me i need to form a stronger bond with the most high so that whatever void that I'm filling, I, that can be filled in. And I promise you, this is a side note, when you fill in whatever that void is, you're gonna see that person slide into your life. It happens in the most unexpected of ways. When you're not looking, when you have finally made up your mind, like, I'm good, I'm doing this over here, that's exactly when you meet your person. Trust me, I speak from experience. Don't be desperate for people. This is when you get yourself caught up with compulsive liars. It's understandable, all of us have been lonely in life, but don't get into things out of a place of being desperate. This is when you fall into the devil's snares this is when you fall into the devil's traps back to the other situation about family this is really important i really did want to dig in on this some of you are dealing with a relative who is just a liar some of you this could be your own mother your own father your grandma your brother your sister some of you this could be your child and this person is a compulsive liar for a lot of you this is going to be somebody who was elder to you the reason that i'm even having to give this prophetic message is because you know it but but you don't believe it it's like it's hard for you to know it because this person has lied to you your entire life and you've been gaslit you're probably a person who has a hard time trusting people in relationships you're probably a person who has hard time making decisions in regards to certain things because you've been lied to your entire life when you've been lied to your entire life from childhood and you get older it kind of makes your mindset a little bit unstable it makes you a little bit difficult to know who to trust and who you can't trust a lot of times you'll end up dealing with people who mimic the characteristics of the person who abused you mentally spiritually emotionally because that's what you're comfortable with that's all you know it's not healthy but you recognize that even if you don't know why you recognize that energy and then when something real when something true when something genuine comes through you don't resonate with that because you're just not used to it you've been lied to your whole life now you feel like you can't trust the truth and that the lie is the truth and so for some of you this is a relative this is a parent that is a compulsive liar they've looked you in your face your entire life and told you you don't feel the way that you feel you just said this i didn't say that your whole life this person gaslit you let me tell you something especially if you're dealing with a relative if you're dealing with somebody and you felt like oh, i should have recorded the conversation nine times out of ten you're dealing with a narcissistic person if anybody ever made you feel like dang it i wish i had a recording and if you don't feel this way about nobody else you have other relationships where you're able to talk to people you're able to recall what you said with no problem maybe sometimes there's miscommunications and it's like oh well i heard this or i thought you said this or maybe 
maybe you say something you're like no i said this and they're like no you said this and you're like well maybe i did but i meant it like this that's normal nobody's perfect but if you dealt with a person you're like well your whole life you just got blow like why do i keep forgetting to record our conversations compulsive lie and when you're dealing with narcissistic people that comes under the umbrella of narcissism these people lie don't believe anything this person says and especially if this is somebody that abused you narcissistically emotionally physically or any type of other dysfunction that this person might have had since you were a kid don't give this person the benefit of doubt don't believe nothing this person said don't allow their word to mean anything to you can hear what they say but just allow the things that they say to go through one ear and out the other i say that to say of course god can speak through anyone so we won't discount that and things that anybody says that you know is coming from the most high you'll be able to receive that but don't take anything that person say seriously don't believe nothing that person says this is a person who will set you up and lie to you to reel you in just to hang you when they finally got you in their grasp if you would like personal prophetic guidance with me if you would like any type of personal confirmation in regards to any situation that you're dealing with or anything that you've just been mentally going back and forth about that is what i do on prettybosstv.com where you can book personal guidance with me another thing that i have to announce is we finally have the first official course that is being launched from pretty boss tv which is called 30 days to success course this course is available now at a pre-sale on pretty boss tv dot academy you for those of you who have been part of the pretty boss tv family for a long time will be able to access this course at a pre-sale price if you go ahead and sign up now the launch price is going to be completely different than the pre-sale but i wanted to extend that pre-sale price to people who've been rocking people who've been on this journey for those who've been on patreon and even if you heard me talk about 30 days of success for the entire 2023 because we did it every single day of 2023 the 30 days of success course that i am launching on Pretty Boss TV Academy is to a completely different level than what we have done as a group on Patreon. On Patreon, many of us have already had super transformative results, including myself. I was on the program. I'm not gonna put anything out that I haven't tried and tested and had others try to test with me and hundreds of people, even friends in my personal life, have used what we did on Patreon and have been able to transform their life and create the momentum that they were trying to create after feeling stuck. Imagine if that was able to be done on the Patreon version of 30 Days to Success. Imagine what the actual course is going to have the ability to do for you. By the end of this 30 Days to Success course, you will not need not one more video, not one more book trying to figure out and put the pieces together to what is the actual formula for success? Because I hear everybody saying the same thing that is now common sense, but I don't have any blueprint. I don't have any tangibles. 30 Days to Success course is the tangible. By the end of this course, you will have in your hands exactly what you need, your own personalized formula and blueprint for success. Okay? Okay. PrettyBossTV.academy. If you would like to join the family where we do the work daily, where there are daily prophetic messages, where we dive deep, not this five, 10 minute YouTube stuff, but we do about an hour a day over there where we're really diving deep so that we can stay in alignment with the most high, in alignment with purpose, in alignment with self. If you would like to join us and connect with other people who are on the same journey that you are on, who can relate to the same things and the same type of situations that you relate and that you go through, come join us on patreon.com slash prettybosstv. Until next time, shout out to everybody who subscribed. Shout out to everybody who supports the channel. I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all willing. Peace.